Hi everyone, I'm Teng Yi. Today we learn about Form 4, Chapter 10, Financial Planning and Management. What is Financial Planning and Management is? Financial Planning and Management is a process that involves managing money from source of income into saving, expenses, protection, and investment. Okay, let's see. Five steps in financial management process. First is setting goal. Second, evaluating financial status. Third, creating financial plan. Fourth, carrying out financial plan. And the last one is reviewing and revising the progress. Okay, let's see these five steps one by one. First is our setting goal. Setting goal is the first step in the financial management process. We have two financial goals, which is short-term financial goal and long-term financial goal. Short-term financial goal, it can be achieved in less than a year and it do not involve a large amount of money. Example of short-term financial goal is purchasing a laptop, furniture, a cell phone or others. Okay, next is long-term financial goal. It usually takes more than five years to achieve. Long-term financial goal involves a large amount of money. Example of children's education, medical expense and others. Okay, let's go to the next one. Next is our SMART financial goal. Okay, we use the SMART approach to achieve our goal. Okay, let's see one by one. S means specifics. What is specifics? Specific is what exactly are you trying to achieve? Okay, and the M is measurable. Measurable is how will you know when you have achieved it? Okay. Next is A. A is attainable. Attainable is, is it possible to achieve it? Or are you able to take action to achieve the goal? Okay, next is R. R is realistic. Realistic is, is it realistic that you will achieve it? Or you can say one that you can reach given your current mindset, motivation, level, time frames, your skill or your ability. Okay. The next is T. T is time bound. Time bound is when do you want to achieve your goal? Evaluating financial status. Assets and liability are the benchmarks for evaluating our financial status. Okay, what mean benchmark? It means a standard by which something can be measured. Okay. Next is evaluating our financial status help us measure our performance in the efforts of achieving our short-term and long-term financial goal. Okay, what is assets and liability? Assets is an item owned by a person or a company. Example, cash, saving, real estate, and investment. And liability is a something a person or a company own, usually a sum of money. Okay, example, house loan, credit card debts, and car loans. Okay, creating financial plans. There are some steps to consider before creating a financial plan. First, define the short-term and long-term goal. Second, make an initial budget to achieve each goal. Third, Calculate monthly saving needed to achieve the short-term and long-term goal. Fourth, analyze spending behavior. Fifth, set a time frame to achieve each goal. And the last one is determine income strategy that will help to achieve the financial goal. Next is carrying out financial plan. Okay, let's see one by one. When we're carrying out a financial plan, we must follow the plan at an early stage. Okay, next is we must be ready to change and compare the plan money expenses and actual expenses. Also, when carrying out a financial plan, we have to prioritize the payment for fixed expenses, for example, housing loan installment, credit card payment, or insurance payment, okay? A late installment payment will lead to addition, interest charge, and late payment penalty. Also, 
we must ensure that the money cash flow is always positive, where the income exceeds the expenses. And the last, if there is a negative cash flow, prompt action should be taken to change the spending behavior. And the last one is reviewing and revising the progress. It's important to make sure the cash flow is always positive. And we should also be prepared to change our financial goal if there are no realistic for our monthly income. Okay, after some theory explanation, let's go through the practice question. Okay, let's see the first question. Mr. Derek received an active income of 3000 and a passive income of 1000 in a month. Mr. Derek also has fixed expenses of 1350 and variable expenses of 650 in a month. Question A. Calculate Mr. Derek's monthly cash flow. Explain your answer. Okay, what is the formula of cash flow? The formula of cash flow is total income minus total expenses. How many Mr. Derek? How many income Mr. Derek has? Two, right? Which is three thousand and a passive income one thousand. And Mr. Derek also have two expenses, which is fixed expenses, one thousand three hundred fifty, and a variable expenses six hundred fifty in a month. So we total up and minus. It will become two thousand of cash flow, and it's a positive cash flow. A positive cash flow of 2000 is good because Mr. Derek has a surplus of income after deducting the expenses. This will allow him to invest or deal with emergency situation. Okay, next proceed to question B. Explain Mr. Derek cash flow if Mr. Derek does not have any passive income and the total expenses increase by 60%. Okay, Mr. Derek does not have any passive income. So Mr. Derek just has an income of 3,000. Okay, let's see. Total expense, which is 160% times 2,000. 2,000 is our fixed expense plus variable expenses. So the answer is 3,200. Here is another calculation which is we use 60 over 100 times our total expenses, 2,000, it will equal to 1,200 and plus again our 2,000 and it will also become 3,200. Okay, let's calculate the cash flow. Total income minus total expenses. Our income just is 3,000, so 3,000 minus 3200 and we will it will become negative 200 which is negative cash flow a negative cash flow will burden mr derek and may cause him to use the credit card facility to solve financial problem okay let's proceed to our question two jade janani works as a private school teacher she earns an income of 3050 she also gives tuition classes and earns an income of 1000 Jade Janani also rents out her house for 850 in a month. She has fixed expenses of 1200 and variable expenses of 600 in a month. Calculate Jade Janani's monthly cash flow and explain your answer. Okay, what is the formula of cash flow? Is total income minus total expense. How many income Jet Janani has? Three, right? Which is 3,500, 1,000, and 850. And she also has two expenses, which is 1,200 and 600. So total up and minus. Okay. Final, we get 3,550, which is a positive cash flow. A positive cash flow of 3550 is good because Jet Janani can save money in the bank and benefit from the interest. 
this interest is a passive income for Jack Janan. Okay, let's proceed to question three. Juan Amina plans to buy a car worth 50,000 within a year. She plans to pay a down payment of 7,500 with her saving. Juan Amina does not have any saving. She wants to get a car loan from a bank. Now, Bank X offers several options. After evaluating her financial status, once Amina chooses to pay the monthly installment for seven years, as that is what she can only afford. Okay, let's see once Amina and her family financial planning. Let's see once Amina family financial plan. Okay, we can see that. Total monthly income is 6,500. And we need to minus the fixed monthly saving and the saving for emergency fund. So the income balance will become 5,750. And we need to minus the monthly fixed expenses and the monthly variable expenses, which is 2,500 and 3,130. So the surplus of income, we will get 100. 20. Okay, let's see the actual cash flow. It will be same. Just the grocery, the grocery is decreased. Based on Guan's Amina financial plans, the expenses of grocery can be reduced by 100. Okay, so after grocery is reduced by 100, the surplus of income is increased. It will become 220. Okay, let's see question. Based on Guan's Amina family financial planning, can she achieve her financial goal? Do you think can Guan's Amina achieve her financial goal? Yes, Guan's Amina can achieve her short-term financial goal of buying a car with a down payment of 7500 Okay, the to because the total of money saving is 650 times 12 months equal to 7,800. Okay, and she still has a surplus of 300 from her needs of 7,500. She also has an excess of 220 per month in case of emergency or unexpected expenses. Okay, question B. Is once Amina's financial management wise? Justify your answer. What do you think? Is it wise? Yes. Because once Amina is spending on basic needs, she also has money saving, prioritized protection by buying insurance, and she does not have any debts like credit cards debts. Okay? Question C. Does once Amina use the smart approach to achieve her financial goal? Justify your answer. Okay, still remember what is smart. S mean specific. M mean measurable. A attainable. R realistic. And T is time bound. Okay, let's see. Specific. Buy a car worth 50,000. And mensurable, pay a down payment of 7500 And tenable, can save 7050 for the down payment within a year. And real estate, monthly saving of 650 is only 10% of total income of Kwan's Amina, which is 6500 And the last one, time about within a year. Okay, let's see question four. Here a little bit information before we go to question four. Okay, evaluate the flexibility of the short-term and long-term financial plans. Okay, first, set aside 10% saving of the total income prior to engaging any fixed expenses and variable expenses. Next, prioritize the fixed expenses payment. And if there is a negative cash flow, we should adjust the financial plans by reducing the variable expenses and add a source of income with our skill 
to keep the fixed expenses unaffected. Okay, let's go to question four. The information below shows Anjet Yusuf income and expense for December 2019. Anjet Yusuf worked as an insurance agent while his wife is a housewife. They have three children who are still studying. Okay, this question. Anjay Yusuf want to buy a high-end computer which cost 6000 to improve his insurance sales within a year. Okay, let's calculate the cash flow. Income balance minus total expenses. Our income balance is 4800 minus 1500 minus again 3300 so the cash flow is zero. Okay. Based on the financial plans, Anjit Yusuf does not have any saving. So is it difficult for him to achieve his short-term financial goal? Help Anjit Yusuf to solve his financial problem without using the emergency fund. Okay, let's see question eight. Does Anjit Yusuf manage his financial effectively? Yes or no? No, because there are expenses that can be reduced, such as the spending on telephone, food and drinks. Furthermore, he does not have any investment plan for his future. Question B. How much money saving does Anjit Yusuf need to save in order to achieve his goal? Okay, the computer costs 6000 so we need to use 6000 divide by 12 months. So the money saving needed is 500 a month. And let's see question C. How can an addition income be generated to increase the total income? How? Anjit Yusuf can, un can increase his income by selling more insurance product, right? And recording more new agents. Okay, the last is create a new financial plan based on the SMART concept. Okay, the SMART concept again, which is specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-bound. Okay, let's see. Specific, buy a computer that costs 6000 And measurable, save 500 every month to achieve the goals. The next one is attainable, can save 500 from the income of 5,000. And real estate, 500 is only 10% of the total income of Jet and Jet Yusuf, which is 5,000. And the last one is time bound. One year is enough for Anjet Yusuf to save 6,000 with monthly saving of 500. Okay. That's all for our chapter four. This is a short chapter. Okay, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more.